crocheting buddies how are you i hope everyone's great and everybody had a lovely easter time uh, i was a bit worried when we like uh, i realized that there are four free days what am i supposed to do with the kids like how is it gonna be and how to keep them entertained but you know what in the end it was all great i am getting set for the market now, I have been keeping this all inside of me for some time because I knew about this market and I'm super excited about it. Also super scared, but it's all going to be okay. But now that it's actually going to be happening this weekend, April the 6th and the 7th, two, uh, two days in a row. Um, and I'm going to have another market right after that weekend, like 13th and 14th of April as well. But this is going to be completely another story. Let's make one step at a time because otherwise my brain is going to explode. Therefore, let's start with the first market. And you might wonder, why am I so super excited? What is so special about it? Because, because this is going to be in a freaking castle. I don't know how about you, but I'm a complete castle free. I have been dying to, to, to try and get in one on Christmas. And this was also one of the castles where I was trying to reach out and say that I want to be there. But um, the prices were just enormous, like really. Um, but I have been checking them out on the Facebook event section. And the, 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 like, um, the interested amount of people is pretty much like around 4,000 or so. So I want to believe that... It will be actually kind of kind of cool, uh, cool place, cool event. And I'm not gonna have a table. I'm not gonna have a table. I'm gonna have a little wooden housey, <laughs> the little this wooden hut. Uh, here's the photo of the wooden hut. That uh, well, I don't know which one exactly, but they have been setting up like a week ago or so. They posted on the Facebook that they are already. They have put them out and like preparing for the. Uh, for uh, you know the sellers to 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 where they will be selling the things. So I'm kind of super excited about that. Which side? Where? I was checking uh, the place. I was checking the place on the Google Maps, trying to satellite the whole thing to understand the location of it. It's very hard for me to understand right now where the whole thing is going to be like located. Where exactly the market? I see the building, but where is the the whole thing is going to be happening? So this is going to be like some kind of a surprise for me as well uh, but um, the thing is that the castle is located one hour drive away from here and all would be good most of the people who I inform about this like I tell my friends or my family everybody's like what's the big deal one hour is not like the end of the world for crying out loud but um, as I'm not uh, with a car or driving license I have to ask my hobby to help me with that and you know that we are having some kind of issues here and uh, it's um, yeah he's not happy about this whole thing but he confirmed it when I asked him for the first time is it okay the location he did confirm so I don't want to hear anything he will have to take me there no matter what so um, therefore uh, but the thing uh, it, the thing is that uh, if I like put him aside, there's also the little ones, the kids, and, and I'm kind of a bit worried that, okay, on Saturday, if we all go early in the morning, they drop mama, uh, maybe my youngest daughter is going to stay there, maybe the oldest one as well, uh, the little one, I just can't do it all together, it will be too much for me, but they can hang out around in the morning before papa leaves uh, back to the city where we are living, uh, then... Um, uh, the thing is that uh, about coming back on Saturday is also maybe it would not be a problem going one hour there to pick us up and then one hour back. But the problem is Sunday. I don't want everybody to be dragged on Sunday morning to wake up early and be there and like the little one cranky or something. Though in the car most likely they can sleep as well. But I will have to hear a lot from hubby. So um, I was trying to like... Uh, first, what I would usually do is I would try and look if there is a possibility for me to get away from there myself, to get from there to home back myself. Um, because I could do that on Saturday evening, definitely. It, the market is from 11 to 7, so 7 evening. I would close up that little hut and uh, I don't have any anything to take with me most likely. Everything stays there. And I can use public transportation to get back home the same way Sunday morning, even if I have to wake up at five o'clock, doesn't matter. But there's a problem. To get there is like literally 
not a possibility. There is like in the middle of nowhere. It's a real countryside place. And um, I have an experience from my previous market where I thought, what's the big deal? There's some kind of a bus going. I'm going to get there. And then I realized that is kind of a taxi bus, which you have to call and like reserve before then. Like, uh, <sighs> I don't know. I And I remember the feeling when I get there and I have a market to start in half an hour and you're literally in the middle of nowhere and you have no freaking idea how to get there. And the taxis are so expensive. And yeah, I don't have money. I really don't have. I'm going like a really trying to economize on everything possible and just going to go with, with the things that I have. But that's not the point. So after realizing that there is no way I can get myself there and then definitely go next morning and be there on time, uh, then I started looking around. Maybe there's some kind of a room who somebody is giving for a rent a room overnight in that village or something. You know, I can walk there peacefully half an hour. It doesn't matter. As long as I'm already nearby that place, what is the big deal, you know? If I could find like a like a like like an apartment within 50 euros or something to stay overnight, it would be great. But I contacted like three or four places. They're like holiday holiday apartments or so. And nobody's giving for one night. Everybody's just minimum four nights and then up. So it doesn't work for me as well. And then I remembered that that hotel, uh, that uh, castle where I, where the whole event is going to be happening, it also has a hotel. And I, of course, reached them out and asked them, do you have a room for me? And they did. They do have. La, uh, two years, two weeks ago, they had a uh, one uh, a single room available, which would be okay for me to stay if alone. But I am being as a mother. I am kind of worried. I'm kind of worried leaving my little ones behind. And I mean, the boy is okay. Boy is all about the papa and they would be fine when I'm gone for that one night. But my youngest daughter, I'm not so sure about her. I mean, most likely it would be okay. But I thought, what about me just taking her with me? It will be a whole adventure staying overnight in a castle for crying out loud. Wow. And she could help me around. She would anything to avoid her sitting by the computer or by the TV or iPad. She would have a fresh air, run around. I checked them out. There's some kind of a playground there by the side. Like there's a lot. Um. so and um. Uh, and then I thought, why not take also the oldest daughter, <laughs> which would be also a good help. Because if I would need to like to go to the, I don't know, to the bathroom or something. Or um, I don't know, just look around because I also want to like take part and enjoy the whole event. Now, I understand I go for work, but also like to enjoy the whole thing. It would be good to have also the oldest daughter who can stay there while I like to say, check us up in the hotel room. Or, I don't know, just walk around there and, and freely or take my little one to the toilets or something. If anything needs, you know, I'm I'm like more flexible when there is another pair of hands there. But, um, yeah, there was availability for twin room. And then I asked for the triple room and there was also availability for triple room. But the problem with the triple room is that the price is so much higher, so much freaking higher. I, I have to like fine 160 euros not only for the room but also for the breakfast for each of us and he's like Pfft. and plus the stand and plus some little money for the gas that i have to then how much am i supposed to sell there in order to pay pay it all off so i am thinking that i will have to like mm, listen to my my hobby complaining about the whole thing but just ask him to come and pick us up most likely or the other thing is that I ask on Saturday that they do come. I come with the daughters. And if it goes super well, like really the sales are just like going so well, then I could maybe book a room on as I go. Because literally I can't, I don't want to book the room, which I have not prepaid and then go for the market and not be able to like, uh, like not have that money. To pay for the room so it would be embarrassing most <laughs> i have imagined different escape uh scenarios but it would be like really weird and terrible <laughs> so i don't want to go there therefore i'm gonna have to improvise really improvise and i hope it's gonna be okay so but what i'm going is like around 500 euros that i have to sell to be able like to to do to, to pull it off 
And most likely everybody would say, what kind of madness is, why would you go to some castle and you see how complicating this all is, but it's a freaking castle. I'm a person of emotions. I like to, uh, that's what I'm like living from. I, uh, if I am just like dull street market, uh, that's nothing like, that's not exciting so much. And this one is going to be like, wow. And I like to have contacts in future with such places if it really sells well and goes well. So let me see how that goes. It's all about like mystery. Maybe some money will come in till Friday. Then I will book, of course, the room beforehand and I will just pay for it and be done with it. So my girls would also have like a little adventure and fun. But for now, I'm just like, like just going with the flow. Because you know what? I don't know how you moms who have kids and you go to these kind of events. I, for me, it's also important that the kids actually ha like see my 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 hobby, which is also bringing money. Like during the market, like now it doesn't bring anything. Like it just ma brings me big big a lot of gray hair uh, financially. But I hope in the market I can like earn some money. Uh, but I want also the kids to enjoy that thing that you can actually work and do something that you love and you can also earn some money. And that is not like, you know, some sitting in the office or just doing something that is not your, you know, something that you would want to do from the heart. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but I want my kids also to take part in it and have fun and, and, and stuff like that. Maybe I'm asking too much because when I was telling this to my friend, a girlfriend, and she said, why are you crazy? Leave the kids at home. Let that man be dealing with the kids while you are just, you know, you go for work. You have so, you know, your evening free for yourself and stuff like that. And I'm not like that. I'm, I'm so used to, I'm so grown together with the kids that I, it's hard for me. Uh, hard for me to leave them behind. If I'm going somewhere, I better want to take them with me than come home tired, completely nerve wracked, abba. But I am then with them and I have my heart at peace from that perspective. I'm so, trying to add up more things. You can see in the background, there's plenty of gnomes that I'm also taking with me. So yeah, let's hope. But I want to see approximately how much I'm taking with me uh, price-wise so that uh, like uh, I want to have at least 1,000 with me and then see if I can sell for sell, sell, sell as much as possible. So the next thing is that... Uh, Today, uh, after the kids left and everything, I was like thinking about the price tags. This is giving me a hard time because I understand that I'm gonna have to um, like uh, go with it. Now, before then, I would usually like have like these kind of a price tags and you just add up. These are kind of big. Before then, I had the smaller ones. Then I also had like just simple these kind of a things for the bigger items with uh, with love made with love and then there's a hole and I would write the price on the other side. I have different improvisations of this, but I need to have my contact details on the things I'm making. So therefore, um, uh, I try to combine a price tag with a business card. I just finished making one and I got this card, card like cardboard paper and I made these kind of uh, like, um, I don't know if you can see that, but the idea is as following. I have the contact details here, my social pages on Instagram and Etsy in the middle of my phone, my email. I have my logo. I have my, what am I even what am I doing? So with love made crocheted stuff, you know, I don't know. In English, it, in German, it sounds differently. Reminder that it's to be hand washed and a small corner for the price where I would be adding the price. I first made one like this, but it is so small and tiny. Even with the glasses, I can't read that. So most likely I'm not going to torture people with that one. So I made a bit bigger. I made like a, a bigger size of these and it's pretty cool. You can see pretty much everything there. So, and uh, I was thinking how to attach it. So I uh, I took from uh, these price tags that I had, these price tags, I took off these, uh, the, this one. So, and I added up. And in that case, I have like everything. I'm going to use maybe a marker just to brighten out the price. So it would pop out at once when somebody's checking it out. And if you buy, you have it already with you, I can cut off the price. Uh, it's also possible, but they would have the rest of the details with me, uh, with them. So what do you think, guys? Is it, a, is, is it a good option like this? Because 
um yeah well it's kind of big for smaller items it wouldn't be so good but it does give a nice look you know that it's something you know where you have bought it there's not just a small scrap of something written there uh, that you do not know what the you know just the price and who did you take it from <laughs> you know unless of course you add up the business cards but it would usually like get lost so easily but this one feels like i would even want in the future maybe mm, to add up if i learn to print on both sides of the printer because i have not that figured that out to put on the other side maybe the name of the toy like uh like what that is like the the like i don't know the bunny gnome or something like or the carrot gnome and give maybe some name i don't know i have to check in the pattern if they have given the names for these pattern these gnomes as well so yeah i have to check that out so this is what i'm thinking of and this is what i'm gonna keep i will give my daughter to do this she does not love yet no she's on holidays no but she's at home and she don't have school this week so she could help me by cutting these things making holes tying them to my things hey guys it's friday come let's sit together a little bit and drink some coffee and it's my third coffee today already and it's 20 minutes to 11 Oh, it has been a hectic, hectic morning. Um, now, I just came up from the basement. We are supposed to be... Uh, there was some uh, water leak uh, from the neighbors above my basement side. So they're coming to fix it today. And I had to remove all the stuff that I had in that corner where the pipe is. And you can imagine basements. I have been a couple of times in my very cozy, lovely basement. <laughs> So there's a lot of shit there. So I had to like shift everything so that they can get to that place. And you know, once you start doing that, you kind of like get into that suck. You know, time time stops and you are just going through the whole bunch of stuff there. And But I threw some shit out. So that's good. That's good. That is means less things the better. <laughs> so uh, tomorrow is my market day. And Sunday too, two days in a row. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. And not because I don't think I'm not ready. Yes, I am ready. Yesterday I was going through the inventory. And whoa, whoa, whoa. I have been doing good. I was like thinking if I would have like around 1,000, I would be kind of happy, you know. But I actually kind of kind of did good. I putting all the everything together, all the things that I'm taking with me. For the price that I want to sell them, it is total 1,235 years that I have a worth of a stock. I'm adding up this cute sheep that I have made. I like this so much. If you ask me of the pattern, I cannot help you with that because I'm using this uh, a magazine. A magazine, it's like German Army Gurubi Hekel magazine. And there was this pattern. I have made it before, but that one, I don't know where I put I put it somewhere far away. I had also made one, but I don't have the color to finish the legs. And it has been lying since. And I told Matt, if I start a new one, I will finish that one. Now I have finished the new one, but I don't still have the yarn for the other one to finish up. So yeah, this is, I absolutely love this pattern. Absolutely love this pattern. Such a chubby little sheep so i'm taking this one so i have not added up to this one and then i have made two birdies funny as that every time i make a birdie though all with the same size hook they turn out completely different i'm start doubting maybe this one was still with a five and this was with 4.5 this one i showed before this one this is the only one that i have finished the first one then came this one so i have two birdies and then I really hope I have to by 12 uh, after 12 I have a bus to pick up my my youngest one uh, today is a short day so maybe I can finish uh, this birdie it has one wing I need to make another wing beep, beak 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 <laughs> beak like embroider the eyes and these ones in front so I don't know if I can pull it off so then I would have like three birds I have one more here, but I don't think I'm going to finish it up. I don't know. And, and I have one more here. Where did it? Where is it? I've like started and it has not been finished. So let's see how it goes. But yeah, I have, I, I hope I'm going to have like around 1,300 worth of stock items in total together with these 
three things which are definitely finished is 117 items that I'm taking with me. I told you guys that we should drink coffee and I'm just talking about business now. Wait, wait, let's drink coffee first. Let, let's calm down. I do have everything here packed. I have two big, like, let me show you. I have two big boxes. Here are two. The red and the green is full with the things that I have made. And I have two boxes and still a little bit with the, like, shelves and tablecloths and what, and what else there, I don't know. And decorational elements. Um, yeah. But I have absolutely no single cent with me like I don't have any money whatsoever with me and it's driving me crazy like I'm not talking about not being able to like uh, rent a room in the hotel for one night for me and girls that is out of the questions my hubby will have to simply come and pick us up in the evening so um, yeah and I have so many bills that have piled up I just don't know that whole thing is so stressful I'm just like oh I'm so stressed out, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna fill it, figure it out, right? Nobody's gonna shoot me. Nobody's gonna kill me. It's just a matter of time and the right uh, planning, planning, planning things. Yeah. So what else? Uh, what else? And yeah, that's why I'm stressed out. I'm like thinking, what if I go there and I don't sell because I have not yet paid for the stand. I was thinking if I don't sell anything. And I don't have anything to pay. I will just pack my things and run into the forest. <laughs> no, that's terrible. That's, that was a joke. I mean, you know I wouldn't do that thing. But I'm really hoping that it would sell good. You know, at least to pay for first for the stand. And I said tomorrow is going to be plus 25 degrees. Can you imagine, guys? And there is like a forest playground. There is, um, there is like... Uh, chicken there's like sheep something what the kids can like touch and like maybe feed I don't know something like that and then there was uh, this trampoline where you can jump in and little carousels as well carousel I'm afraid of because that most probably is going to be something extra to pay and I said my daughter I said no first we have to self pay uh, get the money for the stand then we can see what else can we do about it so yeah a lot a lot of kind of um financial stress that's that's for sure but what can i do i can just pray to god that it's not going to be that bad come on i don't believe that i would go there and i would not say, sell a single toy single thing i have tried very hard and yeah so um that's about it what you do <laughs> it almost looks scared. <laughs> Don't put these ones away, these are sharp.
hey guys what's up it's already a new week it's tuesday uh second day after the market experience which i had last weekend i actually made a, a video yesterday but i was just like and i look back at it i feel like it's so i was so dull i was feeling kind of yeah tired i guess it is normal next day after the market to feel like you're so empty you're like drained out and you just need that one day to like you know to sleep off i don't know just to cool off and and take it easy on yourself i made a video and i felt now it's so dull that i i can't post it so let me just make a new one on tuesday i feel a bit better and more hopeful and more energetic because you know that there's going to be part two the second um, market or the third this uh, ma uh this year um market for this weekend another market two-day market but before we go into that it's just going to be in another video we are going to jump into the things that happened um which happened uh this previous weekend okay we're gonna like i'm gonna tell a little bit more so i have shared some videos and i'm sorry that not all of them were like horizontal but more vertical because oh god is my witness it's so hard to remember who which social platform needs vertical which needs the horizontal ah oh, it just doesn't make sense sometimes to be making the same thing over and over like mm, but it's okay now let's talk about a little bit like what was sold about a little bit about numbers or something okay so all in all financial wise money wise the market was not good not for me uh and i think mostly because the stand price was very high in my understanding like i know it's a castle i know that i was checking also for the what's it called for the christmas time the price was like four times higher of three or four so it was very high but this was a spring market and it was also kind of high and i had also like a like um first time there like introductory price like a discount and everything which would make it even lower like uh i cannot imagine if i would have taken uh, the same thing for the price initial price that they were offering me so i really think that it's very nice like i have one event that i have booked for myself in may where they are offering to um, like to charge me only 10 percent of the things that i have sold that is a fair price because they are giving me opportunity to try and sell my stuff but how can you know that if it's gonna go and if it's a small business it just it doesn't seem to be fair right you charge a big amount and what if it doesn't what if there is not the like 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 this place where i was it was amazing it is a superb location like i if i would have loved to go there just on the holidays and and just spend there there's a beautiful heart castle the 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 whole the water around it's peaceful away from the people like um the castle itself like it, it has a real cool vibe about it i don't know uh, it has a um, what's it called a big territory like a forest type of a territory where you can walk around there was this jumping place trampoline and my child was all day there literally all day these two days i have not seen my child this is my youngest daughter five-year-old she was literally all the time somewhere on the territory uh, there were some two young girls as well like from local locals like i guess one was the child a daughter of the organizer so they were literally taking her with her and she like like made friends with them and uh, they were all the time somewhere there was one moment i was seeing her on sunday evening because i thought okay saturday 
I thought most likely she will stay at home on Sunday. She will not have the strength to, to stay one more day there. But she went up. She woke up with me early in the morning. She was ready to go and she spent literally all day there. And uh, I was, I remember seeing her at some point. She was playing hide and seek or something. She was looking for the girls. All trousers dirty, face dirty, walking around. By the look I see, she's half awake, half asleep. She's tired completely and utterly, but she was so happy. She didn't want to go away from that place. So that's amazing. Uh, at least, I mean, if I, that's the only thing that like makes me very happy. Like if I didn't get the money as which I was hoping to get from that place, at least my children were happy to spend time there. So, what was wrong? I can't, I don't know what was wrong. Maybe my plushies are wrong. Maybe that's not what the people wanted to see there. But uh, there were a lot of people. Saturday was bad for everybody. But the weird part is that there were a lot of people. A lot of people coming in. Like, Sunday was one moment when, like... When I got on Sunday, I had not yet paid for the stand. And I was freaking out. I was literally freaking out. I had a half, half of the pro uh, of that amount uh, in my pocket. And that's the only thing that I got. Nothing else. I don't have anything, anything on the count. I don't have anything extra aside. I have only half. And that's it. And it makes me sad because my hobby decided to stay there as well. Not to spend the waste the fuel going um, two times extra. So he stayed with the little one around the place there as well. And yeah, keeping him busy there. So, um, and I just like, what to do if I don't get, if I don't sell. But luckily for me, around 12, 1, there was like, woo, as so many people were coming in. And I was like happy, lucky to get like, uh, finally that amount, which I could put aside. I did like, um, basically all together, I earned maybe, not earned, but like I sold around two. 250 euros altogether like roughly i don't want to go into the details with the, with the money and stuff like that so and that's not enough almost half of it was go, went for the stand and um yeah as i was with the kids something to eat something to drink uh sunday evening i also bought some veggies some things for the house because they were like potatoes cucumber you know local stuff and and strawberries and yeah basically to like to pay for the fuel I would not have anything to give. But it's okay. It's okay. You know, you can't have everything. You learn a new place. You try, uh, like, mm, location-wise, superb. People-wise, superb. Weather-wise, superb. I don't know. I felt like I, maybe my plushies are not good enough. And maybe what I'm doing is wrong. You know, I started giving a lot of doubts about myself and what I'm doing here. But it's okay. It's okay. Second of all, I want to say that it was my first experience uh, being in a hut. In a wooden this house uh which was given to me uh, it was uh, in a very good location it was almost like in the beginning and it was next to the carousels trampolines it was good for me because i could see my my child most of the time where she is that was very very convenient for me but also you know for the moms who would be like with the kids um yeah and um but the house itself is such a convenient thing. You have so much place inside there. You can put your shit there. Nobody sees what, what, what is lying there. You know, my kids would bring something, you know. Everything is off from the side. You don't see that. And I like how the, um, the window which you open, like, where you put your stuff, it's pretty wide. Like, I was scared that maybe it will not be wide enough or something. But I think it's even wider than a table. So, like, really wide and two meters, uh, two meters wide like long space and then there's like oh well, you got my idea like pretty much and and so easy you just you know shift a little bit everything inside close the door go for the for the night you know come back you just open it up like scatter them nicely and it's done mm, but um yeah it's it's a lot of space there it's very convenient and easy to take care of like that kind of a house now let me just quickly tell you what i sold what was the best sellers and what did i sell first of all I got those I got those three small carrots that I made. I'm going to try and link some photos so you can see what I'm talking about. But there was a kitchen a kitchen woman, a woman from the kitchen from the castle who was working from the personnel. And she she was my best client client on Saturday she like <laughs> bought some things several times from me and uh, she bought all three carrots from me can you imagine <laughs> she liked the carrot stuff so I guess there are people who like this kind of veggie and and fruit stuff with the, with the faces or something I don't like usually that kind of things but maybe I should like think about it more 
Uh, I sold a couple of pop-up mushrooms, right? And mushroom boys as well. Like one or two did I sell? Like uh, ba -ba 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 mushroom boy one, mushroom boy two, two mushroom boys I have sold, yeah. So two and two. Mm, then um i did sell only one leggy froggy that was on sunday an, an, an elderly lady she came to me and she was my first customer on sunday she said she wants a leggy froggy and there was this chubby flower that i made only one and i was not sure about it even if i should take it with me and she said she's gonna put it as a decoration on her shelf and i was like oh so nice woman very nice it's a good idea take it but at the same time there were like a zillion people who were passing by and the first reaction they would say oh it's a pity i don't have children and i would say it's not for children only for crying out loud these because there were people who again would when they were touching my toys like turtles and everything they are stuffed very like 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 pretty like uh, how to say it um they're stuffed fully they are not like something you would just like be squeezing so much or stuff like that uh, so it's more like a decorational element more something to play with uh so yeah i i mean like you can't like satisfy everybody what <laughs> they were like one is too fast uh too hard some say it's too soft somebody says i don't have children somebody an older woman would buy that uh, the toy i don't understand you know what to go with so it's so confusing at times so one whale was bought um so the chubby flower I, saw, uh, I i mentioned already one chubby hen this mabel hen was bought from me as well the chubby cat that I made this extra one, this uh, this uh, from this um, face stitch, I think. Um, so another whale was bought. No, one whale was bought only. Uh, from the bees, only one bee, little bee with the two stripes, were bought from me. And when I was leaving, I left in a in a, in a package also one one bee as a thank you gift for the organizers. I don't know since I I have been going to the to the market these couple of times. I always like to give a give a give a give a little gift to organizers at the end of it like a thank you for something because I don't know it feels so cool last time when I was in a previous I got that young man and I thought I have to give him something too and he was so surprised like whoa what well, he didn't want to take like as if I'm about to bribe him or something but I was giving him already after I was about to leave already I was just a little thank you for crying out loud and then later he said yeah thank you for the bee it was like kind of nice that he has found a place for the bee as well so yeah because organizers are like busy bees I don't know when I have like I'm going next weekend to the place where I have already been and I know that I have already given her a bee so I'll have to come something else what I what I could something small as a thank you for for giving there a place to to be there and just like that they take me in especially the places where you like it's uh it's not like in the street maybe but something like a like you come to somebody's place and you actually like they invite you in their homes like i don't know in their own territory or something i don't know how to explain it i hope you understand <laughs> then i had this chubby hippo this no so hippo that one was also somebody liked it so much and took it Oh, what else? Chubby bunny. Yeah, these chubby bunnies. I'm working now on some too. These kind of, they, those are still missing some legs and stuff like that. So I had only two and I know that I would have sold more. So I'm going to try now for this market, work on more of them. So the two I had and two I sold. Land turtles. The first one I sold was a bee land turtle. And then I sold a couple of lavender. So that one is also done. Uh, white hen. I had this like one white hand that i made on based on the free pattern on instagram and that one one woman took it as well uh sleeping birds yeah those sleeping birds these big chubby sleeping birds um i sold one and yeah in the blue and per, uh, blue and gray colors she said she likes the colors she just went for the color she said it's absolutely lovely combination uh, I had this little bunny, mm, uh, bunny in overall. Somebody suggested me last time to try that pattern, and I bought the pattern. Um, I didn't like because it turned it so little. It was really little. I can't charge much for it, but in the end, it turned out pretty good. Like it, it had some special vibe about it. But yeah, I guess I need to use a bigger, like chunkier yarn or something. So let me see. But I saw that one. It's worth to try it again. I think I might make one more from that one. 
So what the girl? Penguins. I took the two. I had two penguins left from the Christmas market. I took off the scarf, and they had like a little decorations from the winter. They like from the wooden that I was connecting the scarf together. I took them off. I thought let me just take the penguins with me and one got the penguin one penguin got sold so yellow ducklings those ones i had i had three only one got bought um so sheep the ma which i made the last in the last moment that one was sold as well and then what sea turtle i had that big one which i thought should i take it with me should i not and i did take it with me and it was sold so people obviously like turtles and I'm thinking, can I, can I, can I figure out and make more? Mm, let me see if I can work on that. So, and then my biggest purchase was the blue dinosaur with the rainbow spikes that I had, the blue Dino. It was also sold. That's about it. That's all what was sold. I didn't have nothing else. Uh, on Saturday, I was working with the um, um, keychains, the chicken keychains. Uh, I don't think I have any with me there somewhere in the boxes uh, because they were easy to make and I wanted to make some couple of, so I made all together three within the day and uh, yeah that's kind of cool thing right um, then what else on Sunday and now on Monday yesterday I was like also thinking I want to make a dragon because I don't have like a bigger item and I'm going to this place next weekend so I want to take something with me so I was like struggling yesterday by making the dragon but it's not hat turning the way i want so it's getting me upset and i was i have to put it aside and like go on with the things which are really like important right now so what am i gonna do i'm gonna say now bye for now <laughs> because i really have to attend to the market which is coming this weekend uh, i need to definitely make so these colorful things my, I'm running out of the yarn, so I'm going to go with what I have around the house. So I'm going to make a few of these ones because these are good sellers for me. What else when I want to do? Maybe I might make a couple of... Ah, I don't have any white yarn, so I can't do any pop-up mushrooms. But I have a little gazillion mushroom boys, so let me be selling them. Mm, what else? Leggy froggies. I think it would work good in that place. So I want to make a couple of them. More there. What else could I take? Um, I will try and see. If I need to make turtles. Turtles is something what I definitely have to work on. Sheep is my uh, idea as well, which I could make. I don't know. And the dinosaur. Maybe that one would be also good because everybody likes that guy. So let me see. I don't have much day uh, time. I have left four days, right? So today's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Four days. I can do as much as I want. And the only good thing is I don't need to worry about what to take with me because everything I, I'm going to take just the way it is in the boxes and don't need to worry like to go through the whole thing. I know what is where, so I just have to crochet, 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 crochet. So I'm going to say bye for now. Guys, stay with me for the part two for the next weekend stuff. I have some ideas. I have some ideas how to entertain children. Let me write to organizers and ask if they can help me out with that one. So, and yeah, then I hope to see you next week. Bye. Oh, and one more thing before I just go my way and I let you be as well. I am so freaking thankful. You know, for what? <laughs> I got up this morning and I see I have 700 and one subscriber. So I have finally reached 700 and it's like, woohoo! <laughs> it's so freaking cute. Thank you so much for all this support, for real. <laughs>